Still on the topic of React hooks, in this lesson, we'll be looking at the use memo hook. What exactly is this hook? Well, this hook in React allows you to memoize returned values in your renders. So you can think of it as caching values that you do not need to compute in every re-render. And a hook like this allows you to avoid unnecessary calculations that you would have when re-rendering your components time after time. If this doesn't make sense, let's look at an example. So here I've been able to pull up this project and let's just quickly run through the code. So I created a component called filter example and in my app the gsx i commented every other thing that we have done so far in this course and i put the filter example component here and this is filter example and i have my use state and then i import this people data from demo if we go to demo i have a long list of a long array of objects i think there are over five thousand yeah five thousand objects and each of these objects have a name a favorite color and age these are all just random values some of them are even repeated anyways coming back here i now have this colors array here now i keep a state for the active color the state is currently all so it shows everybody so if i click on orange it's going to show only the people that have orange if i click on purple it's going to show people with the favorite color of purple but let me go back to all now we'll come to the next line we have the show color states and this state when we click on toggle show color it basically just hides the color from everybody's box and show age does it for age so it hides the age and it shows the age as you click and unclick so here i have let array to render people and if the active color is not all then i update the array for this array to render by filtering through the people and checking the people that have their favorite color as the current active color that is if the active color is not all and then here I return my UI, I have the H2, I have this div, which contains a rendering list for the colors. So each of these colors have a button. And when you click on any of this button, it's going to set the active color as that button. So if I click on black, then the active color state is going to be black. Then I have this button for toggle show color. And here I just toggle the show color state. I have another button here for toggle show age. And here I just toggle the show age state. And then I have this div, which then contains a rendering list where I go through each of the people in the array to render and I have their name and if show color is true I show their color and if show age is true I show their age so that's a walkthrough of this um, example now where can use memo fit into this well if we go back to demo you can see that we have a long list of people and then here in our filter example every time this function is run or this component is run if the active color is not all then we always have to loop through every object in this people array now this can be a problem we have over 5000 objects in this array and in that case it can affect performance let's even say we had maybe 1000 objects in that array well the more objects we have to loop through that can potentially slow down our application or affect the performance of your users and this is just one example there are different other examples where you want to do a particular Thing, operation loop or whatever and that thing can take time and if you also notice when i click on black maybe you notice it a bit on how it delays maybe for a few seconds i mean the delay here is not very obvious but depending on how expensive the operation you're trying to carry out is then maybe that delay can be obvious and there are several ways you can improve this one way you may want to improve this is that for this demo instead of looping through everything you're going to have only 10 items or 20 items there are different ways you can improve this but just for the sake of looking at use memo we'll see how to use use memo for this the problem is not just the fact that we are looping through this array but it is because we are looping through this array not just in the first render but in subsequent renders and just to show you that i'm going to do console log yes active color now if i refresh the application for the first time we get nothing in the log and that is because the active color is not all so because the active color is not all we do not run this line but now let's click on pink when we click on pink you can see that yes pink can we expand this a bit you can see that yes pink was logged 5000 times this is the first time this is run it's fine when i click on toggle show 
color the active color is still pink right but if i click on toggle show color the show color state changes but you can see that yes pink is logged 5000 more times and that is why we now have 10000 here so the active color is still pink we are changing a different state but this is still running and same thing with show age if i click on show age we are changing a different state which is show age but this still logged 5000 times we had to loop through 5000 items now the reason why this is happening is that as we have understood so far with state when you call your set state it is going to re-render your component so in this case here where we call set active color it means that everything in this component is going to run again and because everything here is going to run again it means this will be run this line would also be run again and then our components will be rendered with the new information now in the case of set active color it is nice that this line is still running because we want this line to reflect the new active color but then when you click on set show color even if the active color state has not yet changed because you update state it means this component is going to run again this line would run again and this line would run again even though the active color hasn't changed so how can we ensure that this line is only running when the active color state changes and not when other state changes there are different ways you can approach this using use memo is not the only way but i'm going to show you how to use use memo so the idea of use memo is that we are only going to compute this array to render if active color changes if show age changes we won't bother running that again if show color changes we won't bother running that again but when active color changes then we can run this again so how do we use use memo for this well we import use memo from react and now we can come here and we can say i'm going to comment this line we can say const array to render and then we can use the use memo hook what is the syntax for the use memo hook well first you have a function and then you have dependencies remember dependencies from use effect so this function is going to be called the first time the component is run and then if the dependencies change in the next renders then this function will be called again if the dependencies do not change this function will not be called again so now we can have a callback function i'm going to use arrow function for this in this callback function we can take this from here to here so we can say if active color is equal to all then from this function we'll return the people array but if it is not all then we can do the below we're going to return people.filter yeah like this then for dependencies you're going to have an array of dependencies and we want this use memo to depend on active color if we do not put any dependency here then this function is going to run all the time and we can check that so if i open the console again currently the active color is all if i click on orange you see this is 5000 times if i click on pink you can see the filter runs 5000 times but that is what we want when we change the active color we want it to run but if i now click on show color you can see we have extra 5000 logs so now we can put a dependency to say this use memo should depend on active color so what's going to happen here now is the memoization the caching so as long as active color does not change the returned value from this use memo assigned to array.render will be caged so even in subsequent renders you'll still be using that caged value so that way you'll not be running the filter or the expensive operation all the time then when active color changes that would be the cue for use memo to run again so now let's start afresh when i run this afresh active color is all so we just return people that's fine now when we click on orange active color changes and this part is now going to run so we have our filter and that's why we have our logs if i click on toggle show color you can see that it still stays at 5000 to show you that this function was not run again instead the memorized value assigned to array to render is used if i click on toggle show color toggle show age as much as i click on these things it's not going to affect that memorized value but now when i click on a different color now we have the use memo running again with the new active color state and this is how with use memo we have been able to improve the performance of our application such that we have 
have avoided unnecessary calculation. We have avoided unnecessarily running this people dot filter because the only time we need to run this people dot filter is when active color changes. If other state changes, we don't need to run this filter. But we use memo. We can say run all of this the first time the component mounts and only run it again if active color changes. So I hope this helps you understand the use memo hook. I also want to say this that the use memo hook does not make the filter run faster your expensive operation will still run slow whenever it runs so the use memo hook is not going to make this filter maybe run twice as fast the only thing the use memo hook will do in our use case here is that we are going to avoid running this when we don't have to and in our case we don't have to run this again if active color has not changed we only need to run this again to get the new array to render when active color has change so use memo does not make your expensive operations faster it just helps you avoid some expensive operations but there's something else you can also use use memo for now let's say we had an object here i will call this object info and in this object we're going to say array length colon array to render dot length and then maybe i want to check the show age state so i just have show age show age i can do it like this or i can just use the shorthand and i can use the shorthand tool for show color and then let's say we have a use effect here now if you remember when we looked at the use effect lesson i told you that you should always be conscious when using objects as dependencies so let's say we have a use effect here where we just say some effect and we want this effect to run whenever this info dependency changes here we are using an object as a dependency no actually let's remove show color from this object so let's say the object only has array length and show age now if i refresh the first time you see we have some effect because this use effect runs the first time the component is mounted but now if i click on toggle show color is the show color state that changed right the array length remains the same because the array to render remains the same the show age state remains the same but we still get another sum effect if i click on toggle show color again we have another sum effect and the problem here is we're using an object dependency and like i have already explained in the previous lesson if you haven't checked it i'll link it below new object references are created every time this function is run so even if this object is the same as the objects from the previous render because the references are different this use effect is going to run i also showed you that a solution for object dependencies is that instead of depending on the object as a whole you can instead depend on info.array length or info.showage now this is one solution if i refresh you see we have some effect if i click on toggle show color the show color state changes but because this dependency and this dependency has not changed we don't have some effect again now this is one way i've already shown you this in previous lesson but there might be some cases this is where you really want to depend on the object as a whole instead of depending on individual properties what you can do here is also use memo so here we're going to have info like this but then here we're going to have our use memo remember use memo takes a function and in this function we're going to return this object and what's going to be our dependency our dependency is going to be array to render dot length because we don't want to depend on the contents of the array we just want to depend on the length so we can depend on that and we can depend on show age and now because we're using use memo this is now going to in a way memoize the reference to this object so now if i should open the console again we have some effect here when i click on toggle show color the show color state changes but you see our effect does not run again now because the reference to this object is now memoized we can now depend on that memoized reference and we only get a new reference when this state changes so if i should click on maybe orange yeah by clicking on orange it updates our array to render so our array to render length changes and because this dependency has now changed then the use memo runs again so whenever you need to use objects as dependencies for whatever your use case might be then you can also memoize the reference to that object or memoize the reference to that 
array. So you can see how the use memo hook can be used for first avoiding unnecessary expensive calculations and secondly it can be used for objects now is use memo the answer to all your performance problems no it is not for example our use effect here we can easily just depend on info.arraylength and info.showAge without having to use use memo and if our people array was not very huge then we might not use use memo for this for example on my personal website i have this page where i have a lot of content pretty much all the content i have created well this hasn't been updated in a while now if i click on post you can see how everything is everything filters fast if i click on all everything filters fast if i type javascript everything's filters fast now in this case I won't say because I have many items, I immediately jump to using use memo. In my case, I don't need use memo because everything is still fast. But in a case where you might have so much data that you want to filter or loop through or just something expensive, they can always reach out to use memo. One thing with use memo though, I think it uses a lot of memory too because it is caching all these values somewhere. So if you're using this in every part of your application, then you might be using up much more memory that can and then affect the performance of your application. So use memo is not always the solution, but in this lesson, I've been able to show you where it can be useful. And of course you can apply this understanding to whatever use cases you have. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and use memo makes more sense to you now. We still have more hooks to look at. So uh, subscribe if you haven't, so you know when new lessons drop and also share this video with others.